Uh, this is Cheryl and Bella here, and we are missing our families that visit us for story time and book and nature club. And we're also missing those outreach classrooms that we visit once a month. Uh, however, in the name of waiting patiently, which we're all trying to do, we're focusing on two things this week that are really good at waiting, plants and pollinators. And they are connected, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Plants need pollinators and pollinators need plants. And what is a pollinator, you might ask? Well, they are uh, insects and animals that visit our plants and help them to spread pollen to one another. Uh, what, are some, what are some creatures that you see visiting flowers, Betty? We see bees, butterflies, birds, and sometimes even bats. Pollinate flowers. Sometimes even bats pollinate flowers? Uh -huh. Wow. Wait a minute. B bees, butterflies, birds, birds and, and bats. And bats. All pollinate flowers. What do they what do those have in common? They start with the letter B. The letter B. Well that's what the words have in common. What do the creatures have in common? Well, the letter B is one of them, but another thing that they have in common is that they all have wings and that they can fly to pollinate flowers. They fly from flower to flower. So we have two books this week that we're looking at with pollinators, and we're specifically looking at butterflies uh, because a butterfly is patient. And we're also looking at Waiting for Wings, two books about being patient and waiting as a butterfly. Now, Betty, did you know that caterpillars can wait in their chrysalis up to two weeks before turning into a butterfly? No way! How long is two weeks? 14 days. Really? How do we know that? How long is a week? Let's see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Seven Thursday, Seven Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Let's count the fingers. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven days in one week, and we need two of those? Yep. Okay, so let's start at seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 14 days. Two weeks of waiting is 14 days. So they have to wait 14 days total. But do how you feel do they survive in that? Well, they're in their chrysalis. But hey, do you feel a little bit maybe like a butterfly being cooped up in the house for two weeks? Yeah. Mm, longer. It's longer, been, longer, longer. It's been a little bit longer. We've been waiting in the house for a bit. So. One chrysalis, two chrysalis, three chrysalis, four chrysalis. Waiting five chrysalis, is a great chrysalis, time to practice chrysalis, some math skills. Eight chrysalis, you can chrysalis, even make it part of a game. Eleven chrysalis, twelve chrysalis, thirteen chrysalis, fourteen chrysalis. Hey, Patterns, shapes, and symmetry are math skills too. Look at that, Bella. Look at this. Now is a great time to find pollinators doing their work. Bees are visiting dandelions, and you might even see some butterflies at your neighborhood flowers. I hope you and your family find a way to get out and safely explore. <laughs>